are right now at PAX East in Boston, Massachusetts. And guess where I am? Can you tell? Are you looking around to the right, to the left, maybe up? Because that's right, we're here at the Eternal Return Nimble Neuron booth, and of course, with Gen G. Now, if you can see behind me, we've got people playing Eternal Return. If you look to my left, you see an awkward Gen G staff member try to quickly get out of the shot. Look at him, look at him, shame. It's okay, we didn't rehearse this, which is excellent, because now I can point at the pretty art behind us right now too. Guys, this is gonna be such a fun weekend. We're already a couple days in, a couple days out. We've got all the days around us. But that just means that there is still so much more Eternal Return content to be had. So why don't I show you around the booth for a second? Come on. Here we have people playing the game, you know, being introduced to Lumia Island for the first time. Some of the characters, let's see, how's, how's our friend doing? Okay, here we go. He's gonna find the twigs. Let's see, uh, he's gonna try to take down a bat for the first time. Chooses not to loot the bat's body. One hitting these wild dogs. Doesn't want to pick up the ramen. Maybe wants to opt for a healthier choice. Just gonna go ahead and he's already combat level 12. Eight people remaining in the game. Chicken absolutely going down, just farming up that combat experience. He's gonna have to try to find an enemy, a teammate. He's currently paint rolling open. The I've never actually seen how they open up the box that way. The fact that they roll it open with a paint roller, that's magical. Let's go on over to the front of the booth. Come on. Hello, friends. Okay. And here we see in the wild. Now this could be you if you come over and join us. We have a wild convention goer currently giving over all of their important information in exchange for a For a eternal return, Gen G lanyard. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna feel cool. I got too much hair to deal with. Exclusive. You have to come to the booth to get it. All right. I, did you see me trying to steal one from you? Okay, turn that way. Just turn that. Hey. That's Eugenia. She's not. She's my biggest fan. Do you guys get it? Do you guys get it? Eugenia, they didn't get it. All right, Eugenia, what do we have over here right now? So this is actually all of the swag that you can get in our booth. Like Ooh. Eternal Return, if you rank between 18 through 12, you can get one of three postcards. Okay. By filling up our referral form, you'll actually get a free lanyard. Or we could steal it from you. You could, if you, if you get it. Okay. Um, places five through 11 will actually get this cool pan. It's double-sided it's really cool at the show, right? It works, it works. It does. And then um, for everyone who's in the top four placements this weekend, they get this really cute tote bag. Oh! 25 people at the booth every day also get a copy. Where's mine? Um, um, cool, so this is mine now. Um, Eugene, I have, I have a very important question. Yeah. Is postage already paid for on these no, postcards? No. no. So this is indeed a fake? Stamp? Yes, I mean, postage from Lumia Island all the way to the U.S. would be really expensive. All I'm saying is that I'm pretty sure that this is considered mail fraud. What do you have to say for yourself, Eugenia? I take no legal liability for the implications <laughs> of these postcards. Okay, so what you're saying right now is that if people are on the show floor of PAX, they just have to look up to the eternal return Genji and Nimble Neuron giant circle in the sky, walk over here, put all of their information in here, and they could get all of this cool stuff. Yeah, we have free stuff for everyone who stops by. Free stuff for everyone who drops by, okay. Yes. Am I on that list? Do I, am, are you giving me away, Eugenia? Eugenia, I didn't read my contract very well. That's, I mean, she just inhaled, you saw her mask I mean, go in. She just took a deep breath. Um, Okay, you know what? We have to leave because I'm scared of the answer that she's potentially gonna give me. Drop all your information here. I promise I won't steal it. I'm gonna steal it. Let's take a look, see over here. Let's. Five people left, four more enemies. There were three, oh, oh, come on. This, okay, they're fighting over Wick. 
All right, he's going in, combat level 14, shoots three of them all at once. He is playing against bots, confirmed. We are now confirming that he is indeed playing against bots. Goes ahead and takes down the Yuki bot. Two more bots to go. Wickeline is helping him. Dashes back in, takes down bot number five. One more bot remains. Will he be able to do it? He does it. Oh, and Wickline currently running away. Potentially he's gonna go for a reset. Doesn't wanna loot the bodies. He does still have to find that one remaining player slash bot in this game. Temporary safe zone activating within a minute. We do see the final, what, is that Yuki? I think that's Yuki. Yuki in the corner, two safe zones. He's gotta find it. Is he gonna drive by that boar on the way? Nope, he passes the boar, lets him live. And there's the Yuki bot. He goes in, Yuki bot is just standing there still. Yuki bot is AFK, Yuki bot just levels up. Yuki bot taking all of these pain roller hits to the face. It's a mop, mopping up the competition. Legendary tester, victory. Sir, congratulations on your win. What do you have to say about the experience? It's great. I used to play this game forever. I'm excited to see that it's being uh, brought in your eyes and see more attention because I think that's all it needs. It's a solid player base and the game is really strong. That is, and you get a prize for this as well. I'm not sure if you've seen that. And I think it's really cool that you're giving your prize to me. Well, I actually have to give this to my friend. Which is me. I'm your friend. Oh, you're my friend. Yes, right? You're... He's been my friend longer. Let's go talk to some other friends over there. Here I am, putting my, my heart and soul out here, trying to make friends. Trying to make friends. Throw it back in my face like that. This is supposed to be PAX. This is supposed to be out, about friendship about Gen G, about a turn of a turn, Nimble Neuron. Let's go talk to some other fun people in the line. Let's see, uh, are you waiting to play uh, some games? I actually just finished. You just finished? I'm waiting on her. How's she doing? Doing pretty well from what I can see. Pretty well from what you can see, all right. What do you think about uh, Eternal Return since you just finished playing? It's a fun game. It's definitely fresh compared to like League or Dota. So for me, it was a great break from those. And the learning curve doesn't seem too difficult, so. At least for this very beginner friendly. Yeah, as soon as you figure out how to, you know, put things together and make fried chicken or steak, everything else starts falling into place. Yeah, the guys here were super helpful, so they kind of got me through the beginning of it. Are you going to try to convince some of your friends at home to join in now? One of my good friends that actually plays this game a lot. Oh. He started playing when the game released. I don't remember when it was exactly, but he tried pitching me once when it first released. Wasn't sure on it then, but gonna go back and play more now. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I'm gonna give you a little fist bump for that. I hope you enjoy the rest of your packs and I hope she wins her game. I hope so too. Thank I hope so. Much. I hope she wins. All right, let's see. So besides just playing games, taking free merch and accidentally stepping on my cameraman's shoe, there's so much more that you can do. Come on over here, guys. Let's go. <laughs> guys, I lost Circadia. <laughs> We were supposed to meet Circadia over here and he's gone. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Here at the photo booth. Oh, wait. Oh, look. Look. I can take my own photo. See, guys. Here, come. You, you can get in the, you can get in the photo. Look. Look. There he is. You guys are in the content now. Okay. Let's, let's tap to start. Look here. Oh, wait. No, I have to run. That did not play out the way that I... Let's retake this. Let's retake this photo. Okay. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. You're going to stay here. You guys are going to stay here. I'm going to get into position, and then you guys are going to press the button, okay? Can you press the button? Good! All right. One sec. Okay. Feather duster. Chain. Yes! I have both. Okay, wait, let me do, do one of these. Do one of these. Ah! Was it cool? I look either really cool or like I'm really struggling with stomach issues. Either way, very fun times ahead for anyone who drops by the booth. 
I'm just gonna, here, let's do this. Let's do like a little look around so people could get their bearings, okay? Right now, this is the Eternal Return booth. It's right across from the Devolver Digital booth. It's also right across from the Tiny Build booth. And then Intel's over there. We're not shouting these people out. We're just letting you know who to walk past in order to get to the fun stuff, all right? I'm just gonna give you a little, a little feather dusty. Just a little feather. Okay, now I'm just gonna give you a little, just gonna give you a little sword. The cameraman is running away. He's, he's like, this was more, this lens was more than my tuition. Like, <laughs> all right. Oh wait, what does this say? Snap a pic at our booth, post a picture of yourself at the Nimble Neuron booth using the hashtag Gen G Eternal Return on Twitter or Instagram for a chance to win. Can I win gift cards? He's shrugging. He's shrugging. I want to buy more skins. Okay, wait, I want to, okay, let's, oh, should I enter my phone number in front of it? I'll enter your phone number. What's, what's your phone number? Cameraman just read his phone number aloud on stream. And we, t we sent a photo to him. He's gonna, he's gonna regret this. He's gonna, where are we going next? We're gonna go over here? Okay, I have, I have responsible people telling me that the next thing that we're gonna do is actually sit down and play a game. Can I bring my weapons? She says I can, she says I can bring my weapons. All right, let me just, just squeeze in here for a second. Here we go. Right. Okay, let me just. Okay, guys. Now you get to uh, uh, now you're gonna get to see me in action. Let me assume the gamer position. One sec, I have to like rearrange. Okay. All right, start game. Oh wow, we just immediately jump into it. Okay, so I can try. You know what? Let's do. Executioner Jackie. I want to do. I don't think I've ever played Luke actually. Oh, okay. So this was the skin that we were watching. I thought it was Jackie, but it was Luke. All right, let's do paintbrush Luke. Okay, let's go ahead with this. Use that augment. Select starting area. Archery range. Cool. All right, guys. So for those of you who have never played Eternal Return before, the way that I can explain the game best is it's essentially like it's a BR MOBA, right? So if you've played League of Legends before, if you've played Dota before, and then you've also played Fortnite or uh, Apex before, imagine it like you start off in the Rift or wherever, but in order to build your kit, you can't just purchase things. You have to look for all the ingredients to build them yourself. So watch, so come here. Okay, so right now, I'm in archery range, and I'm gonna be looking for all of these items. So here's some items, here's some items. I'm just gonna find some items. So I found all the items that I need. Now I need a rock and some leather. I need to go to hotel next. This place we throws his favorite bottle of cream powder. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna craft some stuff. So if we look at my character, I'm building out all of the items that I'm going to eventually be using. And now we're going to attack the wildlife. Go. There's some leather that we needed. Whoa. Taking all of our materials. Perfect. Leveling up. All right. So I'm done looting everything from here. Now I have to go to uh, dock. Yeah, dock. So basically you have kind of like a preset build path, depending on 
if you want to build your character a specific way or if you're playing with friends because you can also team up how you want to fit into their comp. So let's do this. Crafting a mallet. We're gonna take some of this meat. <laughs> cool, I found my box. So now I can make this Schrodinger's box, which is gonna be my accessory. I'm gonna make a burger, cause that's my food. Cool. So here's a bear and you could kill them for combat experience, which is important. and then take some of this. So I'm gonna use <laughs> hot rocks and meat, and I'm gonna make steak. You didn't know I could do that, but now you know. All right, let's see. Uh, I gotta go to chapel. Oh. And we took down Jackie Bot. She never stood a chance. Okay, we have a minute to look through everything here. Gotta dump some stuff. Something here. Gonna make our quick little cross. Gonna make our crusader armor. All right, okay, so now I could do a skill evolution. So he's just like a little bit more of like an advanced character. So let's see. Let's see what I want to do. Including an enemy with the lower sets like clean sweep. Uh, let's go to pond next. Yeah. Let's go to pond next. Dirty work. Perfect. Let's kill some of these wolves. I'm gonna make more meat. Make a hat. All right, cool. Gotta find a pen in here. Cool, so I found my pen. Awesome, now I have to go to pond. It looks like a couple people are fighting in pond right now. So let's see, drive by animal abuse. Okay. Let's find two things. Oh, here we go. Here's one item. One more item. There we go. Oh, and it looks like someone's gonna try to come up and attack us. Nope, he tried to walk right past, but we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna let that happen. We are definitely not gonna let that happen. We are starting to attack. And you know what? Look, bye. This person wants to fight. Come here, come here. Let's go. Oh, oh, they tried to pull a fast one on me. They're trying to run. I'm rooted, but I'm gonna use him to attack her. All right, all right. I'm out of... Okay, wait. Three people in a row on top of each other. Come at me. All right. So, are we full build? No, we're missing a pen. Let's go to Avenue really quick because I'm missing a pen. Boop, 
Let's attack this guy. Okay, here's someone. So I think because we're playing against bots, they haven't figured out how to use skills yet. So this is like giving us vision of everything. So basically think of this, it gives you vision of all of the animals that are within the zone, as well as showing you the remaining items in this area. Because let's say you're looking for a pen. If you do that and it says that there are no pens, then you should probably just go to a different area. I got my Maverick Runner legs. All right, perfect. So now I'm at full build. So now that I'm at full build, it's time to hunt people down and kill them. So let's do that, shall we? All right. Where would the people be? Oh, there's someone. Let's go follow her up there. She can't run into the red because it's basically like the zoned off area. So we're going to catch her here and kill her. Okay, Nadine is down. Does she have anything good on her? Nope. Oh, but she was trying to set up squirrel traps. So those could hurt us. All right, let's find out where everyone else is. I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh, okay, there's another Nadine. Oh, she's running from us. She knows. Oh, there's a Fiora. All right, where'd you go, Nadine? Where did you go? I know you were here a second ago. There she is. Oh, she's trying to squirrel trap me, but I'm gonna throw the ult down. There we go. All right, she's down. Let's go kill the Fiora who was up here just a second ago. All right, by the way, if you guys are at PAX right now, swing by. Maybe you can challenge me, 1v1. Let's see who, we oh, okay, she went over here. Ooh, ooh, honey, where are you going? <gasps> Where are you going? All right, she's down. Uh, I don't need any of that. Okay, let's go. I wonder if people are basically over here. So now we're gonna use basically like a teleporter. And the teleporter Let's go here and work our way up. So the teleporter basically allows you to zip around the map to any other teleporter. There's, like roll it. Rum, raisin, bread. Oh, there's someone. Oh, two people fighting? Okay, I'm down. Okay, where did the other one go? She tried to get away. We're not gonna let it happen. Where did she go? All right, okay. Hello, ma'am, you're not getting away. Okay, we have five more people to find. Okay, there's no one in this area, it looks like. Oh, oh. Okay, I may have missed, I may have done an oopsie doopsie poopsie. That being said, it's okay. I have steak and the steak will sustain me. All right, paint roller beats whatever he had. There was one more person over here. Let's see if they're still here. Oh, did they leave? Did they run? Cowards. Oh. Okay, 
I saw someone over here. We gotta, let's get them before they run away. Did they get away? Oh, hello. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but I just beat a bunch of bots. And now that I have, and I was first place, Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am? Ma'am? Congratulations on your first place. I got first place. Okay, because you're pretty famous, <laughs> you can have all of it. I can have all of it? You can have all of it. Because I'm your number one fan. Then fan me. Then fan me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you, Gina, so much. <laughs> okay. So yes, come through, play some games, you win some stuff, just let it be known, not free postage. You do have to pay for postage if you wanna mail this out. But look how cute the bag is. It has all of the different um, animal NPCs basically, or uh, animal mobs in the game. So you have your wolves, your boar, your scary dog. Is that the portrait of the scary dog? Look at the portrait of the scary dog. Get in here, look at that. Look at the portrait of the scary dog. I knew that the bear looked like that, but I didn't realize how scary the scary dogs look because they're just kind of cute, you know? Then there's the bat and then the chicken. Chicken, that's okay. Chicken is chicken. All right, let me go ahead and get up for just a second. And with my little fan. So now I have a feather duster, a sword, a baggie and a fan. Guys, I don't know about you, but I feel like if you aren't coming to the Eternal Return Nimble Neuron Gen G booth at PAX, why did you even come here in the first place? You know, it makes no sense. By the way, side note, I think I bruised my shoulder when I threw the sword over my, my back. It hurts and I'm scared to look. <laughs> All right. See, look, as you can see, uh, I'm a fire in my laser. A little shoop de whoopish action going on there. All right, let's see, where, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a picture with all my winnings. Could you hit the, the, the picture button? Okay. Let's do a JoJo pose. Ugh, oh, everything is shaking. See, it's all about angles, okay? You know, everyone, they always think that modeling is about who's naturally beautiful, who got the genetics, who fits society's standards. When in actuality, if you JoJo pose, everything looks good. You got Dio pose, you got Josuke pose, you got, you got Jotaro pose. I can only do so many poses while holding a giant sword. Um, now, I think we were supposed to talk to Eugenia or Julian. Eugenia ran off with swag. Let me, let me see if there is a... Jordan, do you want to talk about what you do? Yeah. Jordan. What's up? Guys, this is Jordan. She is responsible for me being here. So if you don't like this, you know whose DMs to slide oh, into. No. <laughs> Jordan, like, I saw or I got to speak with you a little bit yesterday, yeah. but now I get to see all of this in person. How did all of this come together? Because this is so much fun. Right, so you know, for us having the opportunity to bring on influencers like yourself, um, working with a creator team, we've got one of our other creators here, Circadia. We've even got cast players and we have an eternal return caster here as well. I gotta get you to meet him. Oh my gosh, wait, who, who was people, it? It's the Hall Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so basically all these people coming together and seeing everyone and how excited they've been for the booth. The reception has been super exciting. It's just been overwhelmingly fun. And this is my first PAX, so. This is your first? Yeah. It's my first PAX East. Oh, okay, let's So there go. we go, we get to experience it together. <laughs> together. And it is really cool at the same time. Yeah. As you can see, everyone's wearing masks. Mm -hmm. We all have like our vaccinated wristbands. Yep. So this is, even though we're still in like the pandemic world, right. this is like a pretty safe way to go out meet fans, Absolutely. introduce them to Eternal Return, so that uh, 
they could just get in there and start playing. And just enjoy, like kick back, the weekend is here, you know, come to Pats, come to the booth, hang out with us, you know, we'd love to have you, so. Yeah. And of course, pick up a lot of free swag. I can- A lot, you have so much. I don't know if this will fit in my carry-on. It might, it might let you through, you never know. I'll, I'll try, you know, <laughs> and if TSA gives me any lip, I just pull this back, no. You know, okay. I pull out this baby. <laughs> Clean them up. Feather duster. <laughs> we dust. We dust them. <laughs>